Today is just a normal day at Valley View School. Students enjoy their lunch as they talk amongst themselves, conversing about classes, homework, weekend plans. But do they have something else to be worrying about? Something of great importance? Like the environment? I know, I know, I know. This looks pretty bad, doesn't it? Seven to eight hundred of these styrofoam lunch trays are used per day at Valley View. But don't worry, they have it all figured out. Meet Principal Juan. Quite a number of years ago, probably 15 or so, we went from uh, hard trays to styrofoam kind of trays for serving lunch. And that has driven me crazy ever since. So in the last several years, we've been researching possibilities for uh, being more environmentally friendly with how we're doing the uh, serving the lunches. Instead of just throwing away all of these styrofoam trays, Principal Juan has found a way to recycle them. He uses this machine to melt down the styrofoam and create something more useful. So this machine is essentially a kind of a large oven. It, it doesn't get really hot. It's like between 380, 400 degrees, and it'll hold up to 1,200 uh, styrofoam lunch trays. All we have to do is dump the food off. We don't have to wash them. We put them in there and then fire it up, and that melts those down into a, a block that can also be recycled or reused. Uh, we pick them up and send them back to our manufacturer and from there we produce things like flower pots and pavers. We recycle the actual block. According to Principal Juan, this machine not only helps the environment, but it saves Valley View about $460 a month on dumpster services and leaves a huge impact on his students. And this is where kids learn their life habits. And this is where they take habits home to share at home. It makes me feel happy that we're trying to help save and recycle. Because of Valley View's unique machine, landfills are less occupied by styrofoam and children are becoming aware of their influence on the world. What can you do to help the environment? This has been Liz Kodalik, reporting for No 99.